and welcome back to our review of Jurassic World, but this time it's filled with spoilers. SPOILERS! Now, let's get down to business. Brass tacks. Oh yeah. That fight at the end. Oh, the fight at the end. I love the fight. I, okay, I love the fight at the end for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. For the most part. The only thing that I was really sad about is why did they have to have the Mosasaur come out and eat the, uh, and, and grab the, the Irex and drag him down into the water at the end? I don't know. In a way, it's one of the few jump scares in the movie for me. I got it jumped, and my fiance jumped, and uh, my sister, I think, jumped too. See, I, I knew where they were when he, when he was thrown through that fence, mm -hmm. but just, like, you know, yeah, the Irex was just beating the hell out of the T-Rex. And then the Velociraptor came in. Mm -hmm. well, which one was it? Blue, I think. I believe it was blue because yeah. blue had the the blue stripe. The blue stripe. Yeah. Um, you know, blue comes in and it kind of evens the odds. And like the Irex is blatantly losing with the two of them going. One of my favorite parts was like blues on the Irex, and then the Irex gets ready to throw him off, and so blue jumps onto the T-Rex's back, and then jumps back onto the Irex when it's safe. It was so awesome. <laughs> it was like I haven't felt that way since Avengers. Like with the like I remember that like the first it, Avengers. It, yeah, the first Avengers. It reminded me of that moment like when um, when Tony and Cap worked together with the shield and the repulsor ray. Oh yeah. It was that same type of feeling. Yeah. One of the coolest moments of that fight was when the T Rex looks like he's gonna get killed. I'm like, Don't kill him. And then you just And then Yep, and then the the raptor. And you just see him running. It like was he's almost high tail. It was like the same. It it was almost like the same run that the raptor did in the first movie when he went for the T Rex. Yeah. It, and it was just like, and I think the music cue was even the same. It was just. It, I think it was. It was like the dun dun dun. And it, but um, like my raptor impression. Um, but yeah, that was just an amazing fight. That was oh, probably yeah. like the little kid in me's been waiting for for 20 years, and it was just so cool to see that uh, finally on screen. Like when Bryce Dallas Howard goes over and they open Paddock Nine, and you just like you just hear the thump thump of the and footsteps. the flare. You knew the flare and the flare, and then you just see the two little eyes mm -hmm. on the screen, and then you just start seeing the nose, and it's like so cool. <laughs> and the fact that it, they don't say it in the movie, but it is the same T-Rex from the first movie. If you see at the very end, he's got the same the claw marks on his neck from yep. the raptor attack. And oh, the, yeah. Um, so it's a, that's a really cool Easter egg if you notice that. Yeah. Um, that was a, a cool... And then we'll, let's talk about the Dominus Rex. Um, like, oh, he's so cool. The, this, the, even though I, um, he had so many cool features about him, and I think the one that I wish I would have brought back, the camouflage. We oh, see yeah. it once. That, that was one thing I was like, why didn't they bring back the camouflage? He's just stomping around everywhere. the camouflage was cool. Well, okay, I think he was camouflaged when he went after the, the boys in the gyrosphere. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, when he was behind them? Yeah, I think he was camouflaged. Okay. Um, but it, it just didn't really sell, though. I think I didn't really notice that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But... Uh, yeah, he was really cool, formidable foe that had all these... He had raptor, cuttlefish... T-Rex. Tree Frog. Tree Frog. And you know there was something else in there, too. There had to have been a couple mm -hmm. other things. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a really cool, uh, formidable foe. Um, another cool cameo that I loved was the Dilophosaurus finally showing back up. Oh, yeah, and the hologram. And the hologram, yeah. yep. Um, like, we haven't seen him since the first movie. I don't know yep. why he never showed up in Lost World or Jurassic Park 3, but, uh, yeah, it was really, I was, like, very happy just to see that dinosaur come back. You know, one thing I was a little sad that they didn't reference in this one from the first one is Barbasol. Oh, well, besides the Barbasol, I would have loved to have seen the Barbasol. That would have been cool. Like, if they just ran by it, that would have been neat. Yeah, or if, like, it was in some sort of display somewhere, like they'd found it, and it was like, oh, well, yeah. this, this is a relic from the old one. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, what, what, what do you wish it was there? Okay, so in, in like, the, the boys find the old visitor center mm -hmm. and you know we get to see the destroyed oh, skeletons the and we, we get to see the dome and like what's left of the banner and everything and they wander around in there a bit but i would have loved to have seen them go into the kitchen mm -hmm. and find like a velociraptor skeleton in the refrigerator so cool it just would have been so funny yeah because they would open it up and be like Ugh. yeah it would have been really cool um 
I mean, it may have not even been fully rotted. It could have still been stinking. Well, I wonder, though, um, if uh, it might be even a deleted scene. I mean, they, I got a feeling there's some deleted scenes that might... One one thing was the divorce, that whole divorce storyline. I have a feeling that the parents were going to get back together, but they just never talked about it. Because yeah. of the whole, you know, like, death bringing us back. Yeah. Like, oh, this is, we don't want to miss this. Um, I have a feeling that gets brought up, but it never got... They like, kind of just threw it off on the side. Yeah. But I have a feeling there's a deleted scene somewhere that gave that uh, that some uh, closure. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I, I it would be cool like in the deleted scenes if we see that kitchen. It would be so cool. Um, Mr. DNA showed up, which made me cheer for joy. Yep. Like for three seconds. I mean, there's little shots here and there that are throwbacks to the original, like the kids playing pale. Uh, yep with the swiping of the, the mm -hmm. fossils and the dirt? Uh, the dripping of the blood on um, on the, uh, the... The hunt, the, the SWAT. Um, yeah, like the, the, the SWAT guy, like the security guy's wrist yeah. is a reference to uh, the chaos theory thing from the first one. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, there's just little, little nods, and like I said, it's not blatantly obvious like Terminator looks like it's going to be. Yeah. Um, but... It was just, it was just really, really nice. Um, I think a big, I think we talked about, I don't know if we missed anything else, but I think the big thing I want to discuss now is a, a, a major character, the only character officially that returned from the first movie is Dr. Wu. Um, yeah. And he played a big, big role. He's kind of a dick in this one. Yeah, like 22 <laughs> years later didn't really, it made him grouchy. And an evil mad scientist now. Uh, I'm wondering if it's the experience from the first Jurassic Park and the fact that they got him back for it. Mm -hmm. And, like, not the actor, but, like, the character. Mm -hmm. um, and not only that, but, like, the fact that he's basically being asked to make things, and if he doesn't make them, then he's going to lose his job. Right. But he, he's being asked to make things that really he has no business making. For instance, the IREX, because he actually gets irate mm -hmm. a bit when when he says, "You said crueler. You can't have those traits without having the mm -hmm. aggressive qualities too." Yeah, I think he like he loves it, but then he hates that someone's telling him what to do. I think he hates the bureaucracy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I also like it. Kind of explains because, in all honesty, Velociraptors don't look like they do in the movies. They're like chickens. Yeah, they they were about turkey but, size and covered in feathers, and uh, I believe they were actually more loners than. But the fact that, well, even though it kind of contradicts that what Dr. Grant says, but like, I kind of like how Dr. Wu when he's explaining like you, you he's like, like they don't look these, anything like, like what, what they, they should. Yeah, yeah. He, he basically kind of corrects all the wrongdoings from the movies yeah. like by just saying that one line like oh yeah they've never been like what they're supposed to be yeah. like you ask us to look, do these little touches to them because yeah, the velociraptor is actually more like a dilophosaurus yeah. and not a dilophosaurus I'm sorry everybody I'm dumb it's not an official paleontologist uh, but th there's, there's another raptor that's about the size of the velociraptors in the movies yeah. and that's, that's actually Deinonychus that's what it was Deinonychus uh, it, it's more of a Deinonychus than a Velociraptor. Mm. But, um, so, with the movie, Dr. Wu takes off with a bunch of the, the DNA and all the samples. I don't think he takes off with the DNA, because you see him leave. He's got something with suit. He's got suitcases. Though. I think it's money. I don't know. Or I think, it could be some embryos. I think he's got some, I, but I think they were finishing up. But, I think, because obviously they said there's going to be sequels. I'm just I know, wondering. Which I was really curious about by the end. Well, that's what I'm thinking though. Is if he brought the DNA out, like, where are they gonna? Is this gonna be like? Uh, that's. I mean, I, I kind of like it because I don't like it when I see movies and I know what the sequel is gonna be. What if like, he just went crazy and like released a whole bunch of dinosaurs? It, it on, could like, go that people. way. I mean, that's the that's the beauty of it though. Like, I like it when I don't know what's coming. Yeah. So like, it opens the door for sequels. But I'm not exactly sure what that sequel is going to be. Yeah. Like, it could be where, like, the government does go, like, to Afghanistan with raptors. Yeah. <laughs> um, or Which is not going to end well. Um, and, like, and, uh, Chris Pratt said he's signed on for sequels. So, like, yeah, maybe he's he, signed up for a ton, from may, what I understand. Maybe he's the hero that's got to stop Dr. Wu from doing this 
this bringing this plan to fruition. Oh, maybe. Um, yeah, but like th it's very interesting. I was trying to wrap my head around where they could go with this movie because obviously the park element's gone. If they're like I don't know how they could even bring up up a park in this scenario with all those people who got hurt with it. Oh yeah, no lawsuits, lawsuits yeah. galore. Engines, I don't know. They're done with the park business. That's oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, which is a sad thing, but I'm, I'm glad we got this movie. So, yeah, um, yeah I, I think that's, like I said, if, if you haven't watched our other review, go check that out. It's oh, yeah. got our basic thoughts and uh, the good and the bad on overall theme of the movie. And we talk about those heels. Yeah, the heels. Just, like, I want a pair of those heels. Yeah, good wedding gift. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, until our next review, uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, always. Thank you for tuning in. You can find uh, a link to the uh, spoiler-free video in the description below. And then, you know, our Gmail, SoundCloud, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, all that stuff. You can also find us on iTunes now. And, uh, yeah, I think that that's all the plugs. Yeah. Uh, so I guess until next time, everybody, stay nerdy.